Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Sales versus Jackson. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Miss Sales, you claim that you and the defendant, Mr. Jackson, were in a serious relationship and it was his idea to have a baby. But now that your three-year-old daughter, Micaiah, is here, he denies being her father. You want him to step up and take care of his daughter. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Jackson, you claim that Miss Sales is a former side chick who is trying to pin a baby on you only because she wants you back in her life. You are certain you are not her daughter's father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Sales, explain why you opened your case today. I opened my case today because I was with D'Amico for five years. We were in a relationship. We had our baby. And now, because he sits up and talks to his family, now he feels like that is not his child. Since the day my daughter was born, because she was light-skinned with gray eyes, that was not his child because I'm too dark to have a light-skinned baby. Mr. Jackson, she said you were in a five-year relationship. Is that true? No, ma'am. So, how... What were we doing, Miko? What were you doing? Huh? You know, she was like my side woman. Your side woman? She was your side woman. Miko, you gonna stand so her lie? So, it's your testimony. You weren't in a relationship at all. I mean, we had a relationship, but it wasn't serious. You know, we, we was just, you know... You left your <laughs> ex to come be with me. How was we not it in a was, relationship? It was, it was more of, you know, she had great sex. Uh, oh, I put it on him and he could never leave. I mean, it... It, mm. it happens like that, you mm. know, Jan, it happens like that, you know? It was just... It, so, you're saying you were only with her for a sexual relationship? She was my side woman. So, did you make that clear or were you making her feel like she was your real woman but really you were just having a side woman? She was just my side woman. I made it clear to her before. She understood. Stop her. lying. He came to my house every single day. He lived yeah, I at did, my yeah. house every single day. But, he... you know, regardless, you could still make a baby even though she might have been your side woman. I mean, that, that none of that prevents you from becoming a father. Yes, but I wasn't the only man that was smashing it. He's lying. He was the only person that I was messing with, the only person I had been with for a year before I even got pregnant. So, again, he's lying. How long did this last? How long did it go on for? When I first met him, I had moved out of town, so we had, you know, lost contact. That's when he met his ex, and they got in a relationship. When I moved back in town, he never let me know about this relationship he had. I found out because a friend of mine told me that he had a girl. He never said anything to me about it. And by the time he actually started trying to confess that he had a girlfriend, we had already been together for six to eight months, already having sex with each other, unprotected, on the regular. Like, he's a sorry liar, period. So, Mr. Jackson, take me to the point when you find out this woman who you say is your side woman is pregnant. When did you find that out? Like, what you mean? Like, what... Just what I asked. When did you find out Miss Sales was pregnant? <laughs> I found out Miss Sales was pregnant. What was that? Uh, I say August, a month, a month later, something like that. And so, take me to that day. How did she tell you? Uh, first, we went in, uh, she had a situation with her urinals stuff like that, a problem. So, you went to the hospital for something else? Yes, ma'am. I went to the doctor because Two I had later. a cyst ruptured in my stomach, so I had to go to the hospital because I was very sick. He went with me, but he was my side piece, right? But he took me and went with me to the hospital. So, I was getting a lot of tests ran and things, things done to me. They was telling me, no, I wasn't pregnant at the time because I had polyps. So, the nurse explained that it was really hard for me to get pregnant and my chances was very slim. But at the time, I had already gotten off of birth control and was uh, trying to have a baby with him. So, we had sex at the hospital that same night. <laughs> and then... At the hospital? And then... While you were there for the polyp? Yeah, so after they, you know, got me together and got my body together, yeah, believe me, it wasn't that... Negative, so... you know. Oh, you say that. that's not true? Okay, I'm gonna come to you in a minute. What happened next, Ms. Sales? So, after that, I ended up going home. I, again, knew I was not pregnant. In October, 
I went to the doctor, and that's when I found out that I was six weeks pregnant. So, at the time of the doctor's visit, at the end of August, no, I was not pregnant. But again, we had sex at the hospital that same night and would have sex every day on the regular. So, of course, it wasn't that hard for me to conceive within the next week or two by him. So, yeah, Mr. Jackson, it sounds like you all were a side woman, what, main woman, whatever it was to you. It sounds like you all were having a lot of sex. Yeah. And so, if you were yeah, having that I, much I admit, sex... it was good. So, my, listen, that's... <laughs> I'm not asking about the quality. Yes, ma'am. I made a comment on the quantity, <laughs> even though we know it only takes once anyway. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. It seems like you were in a steady sexual relationship with Ms. Sales. So why is it you think you can't be Micaiah's biological father? It seems like you at least a possibility. Yeah, and one day I was on my family member house uh, doing some work with him, and a friend of us called and said that they seen her in a car with some light-skinned guy with dreads and said, this is who she been seeing. This is a possibility could be her baby daddy or anything like that. This was told to me. That's a lie. Yes, and a lot of people um, in the car and told me that she was riding around with this cat. Oh, people have seen her in the car riding yes, around with yes, this guy. Honor, yes, Your Honor. True story. So, Miss Sales? His ex was the one who's supposed to saw me riding in the car. I oh, also me, seen he's messages. jealous and want him back at all times. So she'll tell him any lie that she can find. I saw Ashley uh, with this guy. Ashley was riding around with him. Honor, Ashley I be also... outside just so he can sit Your there and Honor, say, I oh, also okay. seen messages of her going back and forth with the guy, but. What did the messages say? It was more like, you know, I guess, you know, he already had a baby or something like that. I guess she was trying to come clean about she supposed to be pregnant. It could be a possibility mine's are his. Oh, so you saw an exchange of messages. Yes, ma'am. Talking about the pregnancy. A holiday. And the paternity. Yes, Your Honor. And when you saw that, did you confront her? I confronted her, but you know, just He's like lying. any other woman, they gonna He's lie lying. and deny. Why you gonna stand here and it lie? It was so long ago, that I don't a remember a lot. Lie. I've never had a conversation with nobody about my daughter besides this man. He is lying. So what about the guy with the locks? A random person he found on my messenger that I guess had said, what's up, sexy? Hey, mm. baby. One of the extra hundred guys that do that, too. And he picked that one out because he was light-skinned. Oh, so you're saying he concocted mm. the cheating story after Micaiah was born? Yeah. Based upon her yeah. skin color? Yes, 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 yes. Timeline doesn't he add is up. He's lying, but all right. So the timeline doesn't add up. So you actually submitted a calendar to the court to outline your doubts as it yes, relates to the timeline. Yes, Can you step up to the monitor, please? <laughs> I broke up with Miss Sales June. I got back with my ex July. We went to the hospital in August to check about her uterus because she had problems. I did not know she was pregnant until like a month or two later. That's when she told me she was pregnant. So when do you finally find out Miss Sales is pregnant? It's around like September. There it is, September. Yes, ma'am. The last week. Yes, ma'am. Outlined in hot pink. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Micaiah was born in May, on May 9th. Yes, ma'am. So is it your testimony that you didn't have sex from June <laughs> when you broke up with Miss Sales all the way in July, yes, nor in August, yes, nor in September? He's no lying. He just said he loved it. Why would he stop? He is lying. <laughs> He is lying. I mean, he looked like he, he lying. I don't even have I'm, to say I, it. Yeah, don't judge a book by its cover, Your Honor. I'm telling the truth. I'm not judging a book by its cover. I'm judging a book by its body language, its crooked smile, and the fact that you're nah, sitting up here lying. No, nah, I ain't... No, nah, no, nah, Your Honor, I ain't lying about that. It's just... <laughs> That's yeah, crazy. Jerome, can you change this calendar and just put... Highlight the whole huh. year <laughs> of when Mr. Jackson was having sex with Miss Sales. Yeah. No. Go on back to the podium, boy. You can get on my nerves now. <laughs> a waste of time. You brought a witness, Mr. Jackson. Please stand, ma'am. State your name for the court, please. Darnisha Jackson. Ms. Jackson, you are what relation to Mr. Jackson? I am D'Amico's oldest sister. You are his oldest sister. All right. I'd like to know what you know about this situation. D'Amico called me crying one night because he said Ashley admitted to him that she had slept with the light-skinned dude with dreads, and there's a possibility that Micaiah might not be his. Oh. And what did you tell your brother, Ms. Jackson? 
I just told him to take a DNA test, which he said he tried to take one. Ashley had, you know, faked a fallout, started crying, things like that. So we had I to leave. I drove up there. It was we, my car. How did I not we had to take the DNA We test? had to leave, so. How do you fake a fallout? She started crying outside yeah, the building because she didn't want to take Was you the standing there for you? No, he crying. told me. I don't never cry for one. I'm not an emotional person at all. Girl, You're please, you ain't never yes, seen me do. cry again. I barely cry in his face. So, again, yes. like okay, I said, Ashley. I don't got no reason to also, cry. He got drama. his feelings. So, wait, hold on, hold on. Before we go into all this nonsense of what you did and what he... I want to know what happened. Yes, I want you to be specific and tell me we what on, did she do? We was on our way going on, you know, we was uh, a few blocks away whatsoever. She started crying. I guess I was. I guess she seen me more serious about it, cause I've been saying I supposed to be getting a DNA test for a while. And did you all ever park and get out the car and go towards the courthouse? We did. And then what happened? We left. Why? It was just too much at the time. What know? do you mean too much? I, this lie is too much. I we wonder, got to the building. Listen, Your Honor, Your this Honor, lie listen, is Your Honor. Too I much. wonder. First of all, I'm sensitive myself, so I wonder. You know, I wonder to take it, but I also wonder to listen to what she had to say at the end of the day, cause. So what is she saying to you while she's crying? She was just saying that, you know, I'm, I'm wrong for doing this. You know, I'm not right for doing this. Like, I should believe her. And because you're such a nice, sweet, humble young man... <laughs> yes, Sean. ...you just decided, I don't want to hurt this young woman's feelings, <clears throat> and I'd rather just not take the DNA test today, not get the answer as it relates to the paternity of Micaiah, and go back home to Miss Sales to only have sex with her and continue <laughs> to devalue her no, yeah, for I, another was, two years. Like I said, uh, on certain ends it was about the sex, but you know, later on in life, you know, I got closer to the daughter, closer to her daughter, so I didn't want to find it out if at the time. I just didn't want to find it out. And I seen her break down, so it really made me like, ah, I could be tripping. Sounds like you did care about Miss Sales. I cared about a little bit, but not too much. Tough. I'm confused. You ain't finna keep standing here talking about something. It was about some sex. Hold on. You've been in love since the day you met me. What are you saying? That's why you left your ex to come be with me, because you couldn't get enough of being around me. What are you talking about? Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready ready for the results now. What's she doing? Drove? Wow. You got to do too gotta... much stunt. Don't come here stunt. You could have just came here and said I'm talk, you didn't feel like judge. it was your baby. Okay, let's be a man. Let's get boy. some order. Miss Sales, <laughs> I do believe Mr. Jackson was playing both sides of the fence. Yeah. But I don't think that's because he didn't enjoy being with you. I think he did, and I think he cared about you. You don't go sit at hospitals with your side chick. You were not committed, and yet you all were very connected in the sense you spent a lot of time yeah, together. Yeah, we play house, I guess. Right. Oh, she looked just like you, you on know, the pictures. I feel like there's a possibility Girl, that... Do you know who your baby she, daddy is? I, yes. No, you don't. Yes, but I, okay. I, no, you I don't. Feel, yes, I, I feel like a possibility no, you don't. that yes, I do. You it's not my baby. You was a sad chick. You, and you Girl, know you just was. said your baby they never claimed you. Yes. Hold on, yes. hold on. You don't know my baby daddy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Miss Sales, you got a lot of mouth for everybody, but you ain't gonna have a lot of mouth for me. And if you, if what you're saying is true, that envelope is gonna validate it. Yeah. You don't have to act a fool for it. Again, Because okay. you don't have to act a fool for the truth. Yeah, you... You act a fool for a lie. I'm ready for the results. Okay. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Sales versus Jackson, when it comes to three-year-old Micaiah Jackson, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Jackson, you are the father. Now I know who my baby daddy is. Miss Sales, Miss Sales, you don't have to do that. I don't run no circus and I don't need no clowns. I understand. We're talking about a baby. She should know who you are. Oh, she know who I am. She don't need no side daddy. She needs the daddy that is going to be protecting her. She needs the daddy that's going to carry the world on his shoulders for her. And Miss Sales, I'm going to be honest. I, I, I get it. Mm-hmm. I see your tears. <laughs> I know you say you're not emotional. I get all that. 
You're a woman first. You are not the only person that loved the wrong man too long. And you don't want to raise Micaiah thinking that's acceptable as well. You really don't. Mr. Jackson is a handsome young man, but you are a beautiful young woman. Thank you. Thank you so much. And someone will appreciate that, but they won't see it if the entire sum total of your life is running behind Mr. Jackson. And it won't be. I'm gonna tell you something. It ain't that much fine in the world. Come on. Now, Mr. Jackson, you can miss the boat if you want to. And then 20 some years from now, Micaiah be standing right here talking about, well, my daddy wasn't in my life, Your Honor, and I was looking for love in all the wrong places because my daddy told me my mama was his side chick. Oh, you don't like to hear that now when your words come back to you. <laughs> it don't sound good, does it? Man. You and your little red sweater. You better get it together. <laughs> you understand? Yes, Your Honor. You better get it together. We have counseling and resources for you. Take advantage of it. That's all I got to say. Court is adjourned. <laughs>